Hi, my name is Mark Palmquist. I'm going to do a test. I want to make a boat out of plywood, but I don't want to use full sheets of fiberglass reinforcement on the outside or inside. So I'm just I'm going to test and see if I can just uh, strengthen the joints on both the inside and the outside uh, using Type Bond 3. And on one test, I'm going to use FIBA tape, which is a fiberglass tape. So uh, we'll go in there on both the inside and the outside. And on the other one, I'm going to use a sheetrock tape, which is typically what you use with sheetrock on a wall, but it's basically a strip of paper with a convenient little crease in the middle. And so you roll the, the tight bond with a little roller in the corner first, and then you apply it to the tape and then you wait about five minutes and then you just basically stick it in there and then you roll some more glue on the outside and then wait 24 hours for it to dry. And then after that, I'm going to basically put these in a vise and apply pressure and note how many turns it takes before it cracks and fails. Um, so anyway, that's, that's the experiment. Okay, I'm back. Here are the results. Um, so I have two joints that I glued up with uh, reinforcement. Uh, this one is the FIBA tape using Type Bond 3 um, on the inside and outside. Um, this one is the sheetrock joint tape. Um, using Type Bond 3 on the inside and outside. Um, I also tried one with, um, this one is shellac. Um, tried to test to see if shellac would work as a glue. Um, and the answer is it, it kind of, it doesn't work very well. It didn't really attach the paper like I had wanted. It's sticking in certain areas, but not in others. So, um, shellac is a good primer, but it didn't work in this case as a glue for the paper itself. Um, but shellac can go over this um, and seal it. But anyway, so now I'm going to test the strength of these two joints. This one, the FIBA tape, and this one, the uh, paper tape. Okay, so um, I'm going to attempt to do the test like this. Um, so this is the FIBA tape plus the Type Bond 3. This is the paper tape joint. Um, I've interlaced them like this. I screwed this one to the table and this one I'm going to try to draw out. Now this is probably going to break first, this joint. Um, so I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know how to screw this to that. Well, let's just try. Okay, that's what I figured. This joint was not, um, did not have any tape on it, so it, it broke first. Um, now I have to figure out how to draw this backwards. Um, okay, round two. Okay, back for round two. This time I, um, I'm putting them backed against each other. I'm using this to keep the joint tight. This is screwed to the table. This is screwed to my vise. I'm going to back the vise up and let's see which one breaks first. Again, this is the paper and this is FIBA tape. Okay. That is the cracking of the fiberglass tape. Um, so this is the paper tape joint. And as you can see, it's 
far superior to the fiberglass tape. So part of the reason why is I think um, fiberglass is, is, a, is a harder material than paper, but when paper is saturated with tight bond two, the paper becomes stronger. Um, it might also be that the fiber tape, the fiberglass tape has more empty spaces. So you might actually need like two layers of this to equal one of that. I mean, physically, I, this is amazing how strong this is. Um, I, this, this felt strong too, but uh, it's more brittle. Um, fiberglass is more brittle and the fiber is just cracked and broke. Um, this is a little bit more flexible, but it's also strong because of the glue. So, um, so next time I build a boat, I'm going to use paper um, instead of the fiberglass tape.